how to get free domain name and web hosting. Hello folks, this is another tutorial from the Love to Share channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to get free hosting and domain name for free. Um, in order to get domain name and hosting for free, we will go through the two steps. First one, I'm going to sign up for free domain name with Freenum and secondly, we, go we will sign up for free web hosting with Hostinger. Um, bear in mind that the free domain and hosting, sometimes it's not working properly as we expected. So don't waste the time. Let's get started by let me go through to my Google Chrome browser. Then go to freedom.com. Quick note with freedom on some ISP, it's not working. So you need to change your proxy. You can change proxy in Google Chrome by using an extension called Hi My IP. To install Hi My IP, click on the setting icon on the right hand side and then go to More Tool Extension. Then click on Get More Extensions. Then tap Hi My IP. Click Add to Chrome. Click Add Extension. After we install it, we'll show the icon on the right hand side like that. The next, I will show you my current IP. If I go to what is my IP. Okay, that's my IP. Currently, I I am from Phnom Penh and then we going to change our IP by click on hi my IP and then choose uh, any location that you want to use uh, note in mind that after you change your IP uh, when you access to any website it will run a bit slower and sometimes it might not work so we need to do everything over again okay by change to other location okay now we'll go to what is my IP again and to see whether my current location change or not okay now we in US actually I choose friend but it change to S don't care about it now we already change our IP. Okay, now on Freenum, type your desired domain name. Click on check availability. Okay, then we can click on the word checkout. Note in mind, if your domain is not available, you can check uh, on the other extension below. Okay, I'm gonna click on check out. After that, change our period from 3 months to 12 months. Then click on continue. What we need to do next is fill in our email address. Now go to my email and check for the verification email. Click on that email and click on the attached link. Now fill in the requirement information. Click on a help with the agreement and then click on complete order. 
Now be successful, signed up for free domain name. You can check our domain by click domain and my domain and then you will see your domain that you just signed up. Okay, now we have the domain. We need web hosting in order to make our website working. So, um, I will go to Hostinger and register with Hostinger. Okay, uh, this is the second part of the video. The first part we already complete. So now we go to Hostinger and sign up with that. Okay, click on hostinger.co.uk. Don't click on the first one. The Hostinger is quite easy to sign up. Okay, all you need to do is just click on get started. Now click on proceed to checkout. Then click on create new account. Then fill in your first name, email address and password. Click on create new account. Oh, actually this is the email field. You need to uh, complete the email. Then check on I agree with the term and condition. Click on complete order. Okay, so what we need to do now, just go to your email and then check for the verification email. Okay, so let me go to my Gmail. Okay, you will see the confirmation email. Click on the attached link. As you can see now, it's DN pending because we haven't point our domain name to the DNS yet. So we need to click on setup. And we need to get our domain name address. Okay, make sure you get the right address. Okay, you need to be careful. You make sure you copy the right address. If you enter the wrong address, um, you cannot use your hosting. Okay. Okay, now just go to Hostinger, type in your domain name. Click on choose the server, click on Europe UK and type in the password and click setup. Alright, you cannot put ATP in front of that. You need to delete it. Okay, now we successfully sign up with Hostinger. What we need to do now is pointing our domain name from Freenum to the web server on Hostinger. Okay, we need to copy the name server from Hostinger by going to Hosting, click on All Account, and then click on your domain and click on the word Manage. Okay, and then click on the word Detail. Okay, then we need to copy the name server from NS1 to NS4 and put it in um, Freenum, okay. So on Freenum, uh, you click on manage domain, click on name server, and then click on custom name server and enter uh, the information from hosting chair. Okay, we need to copy and paste all of them. Okay, then click change name server. Okay, as you can see, uh, we already changed it successfully. Now to taste better, our website is working. We need to upload an HTML file we call index.html to the file server. Okay, so uh, I will go to my website now. Wait to see. Okay, it's not working as you can see. Um, sometimes uh, it's not working because we're using the proxy, we need to go use another browser. Okay, I will open uh, my Firefox. Okay, go to my domain. Okay, as you can see, we successfully point our domain to the hosting to web server. Okay, I will uh, upload an HTML file to test. Okay, whether we can change the file. Okay, now I go to Google and copy the 
team or structure. Okay, copy that. Okay, now we need to go to Farm Manager again. Okay, and just scroll down, find File Manager, click on that. Okay, we need to upload the file into the public desk HTML. We cannot upload it outside. And click on that and okay you will see the upload right okay we already copy okay I will pass that code into the notepad and save it as index.html okay you can save anywhere just type index and then you need to change the save as file type to all file and type dot html save Okay. Okay, our file is right there. Okay, as you can see, if uh, we successfully upload the file, it will show like that on our website. Okay, we we'll choose the file now. Okay, okay, click on the tick button right there to upload the file. Okay, we already upload now. Let test whether our website is working just like we expected it worked like we expected all right folks we already come to the end of my tutorial if you have any problem or question you can drop your comment in the comment section below i will try my best to answer your question and if you find that my tutorial is helpful please don't forget to give us a sum up right there and make sure to subscribe my channel to get more useful tutorial. Thank you for watching. We're back from dead.